All right, so we're going to take these samples here. Have your toenails been causing you any pain, any discomfort? No. Now, what have you been doing at home to help this? Anything? Um, just... Just watch the feature, me. Yeah, and um, I put some cream on. Okay. That, that, that cream that you gonna give me. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna throw away my old sauce and brought new sauce. Okay. How often do you alternate your shoes? I don't really wear shoes like that. You know, I'm, I'm a cleaner, so I wear like Crocs. Crocs. And they mm -hmm. slide on. How many pair of Crocs do you have? Two. Two. Do you alternate them, or do you wear the same ones all the time? Just alternate. Okay. The reason why I ask is because in dealing with fungal infections of the skin, you also have to deal with the shoes. Right. So I should just throw them away and get some more? You don't have to throw them away. You can clean them, disinfect them. Okay. And if you have more than one pair, which you do, you alternate them. Okay. So the ones you wear today, you don't wear tomorrow. Yes. You know, when, you do, when the day is over, you spray them out. And I'm very rarely I wear tennis shoes. Okay. Very rarely. Now, when you do wear tennis shoes, it's very important that you wear socks. Yes. Feel like kind of socks to help absorb moisture. Oh, okay. All right. Now, none of these nails give you issues wearing shoes? No. Do you ever have occasion where you have to wear something more formal, more dressy? I don't go nowhere. Okay. So, uh, I don't know. Okay. Alright. And what type of places do you work in? Um, the A and B units. Units. That's what hospital? Uh, the uh, condos. Condos, okay. Downtown DC, Virginia. All right. How long have you been doing that kind of work? Almost two years. Two years, okay. You okay, so that's a lot of wear and tear on your feet. Yeah, it is. It is. Anything, any job I do is a wear and tear because mm -hmm. I'm always standing or something. And you able to do that kind of work comfortably in crops? Yeah, I'll be very comfortable with Crocs. Okay. Because the units, I come out of them. Gotcha. You know, I pull that socks on, but I come out of them. Okay. It's like getting on. Mm -hmm. With your uh, cleaning your house. Well, the socks are very important, even in Crocs, because again, they're going to help absorb moisture. Yeah. They were a lot of nails in the test. Hmm? Oh, yeah. We got <laughs> plenty of sample for them. The lab likes a large sample because sometimes they have to repeat the test or they're not sure the results or something hits the floor then they got to start it over with another part of the sample.
Now, have these coins been hurting you much? Yeah. When do they bother you most? Just the one, the, one in the, the one in between? Yeah. Okay. But again, the reason why that happens is the fourth and the fifth toe rubbing together inside your shoes, getting pressed together. Yeah. And so the bone from the fourth toe is pressed against the bone from the fifth toe and the skin is trapped in the middle okay. forming that interdigital corn we call it that's why I asked you earlier you know what size shoes have you been wearing because yeah. often people think they're wearing the correct size shoe when they actually aren't uh -huh. so when we're done I'm going to measure your feet to see if that's indeed the case. Okay. Or you may have the correct length of shoe, but the width may uh -huh. be too small. Even in Crocs, even in shoes that fit well, you know, you really may not notice it, but when we stand up, our feet are wider. Yeah, yes. So, you know, in your line of work and your feet all day, how, I mean, how many hours are your shifts? Eight. Eight hour shifts? How many days a week? Four or five. Four or five, sometimes so, know, six. Sometimes six. So, you know, you're clocking a lot of hours. So that's putting a lot of wear and tear on your feet. Uh -huh. You see, this is that corn yeah. right there in the middle. That's fine. Yeah. So, and it's pretty thick. Yes. And what happens over time is that the soft tissue under the corn, between the corn and the bone, forms a bursa. And that bursa, which is a small fluid-filled sac, gets inflamed. And that becomes what we call bursitis. And that's what hurts. So shaving this down here is going to help out a lot. It's not the end all, but what you also have to do is wear some padding or toe sleeve or toe spacer between these two toes mm -hmm. to keep this from coming back. Where get that from? CVS. Yeah, you can get it from the drugstore. CVS or any of the drugstores or yeah, toe spacer. Mm -hmm. Toe spacer. We're done. I'll show you what it's doing. It's only that one. Yep. So I'll show you what, what it looks like when we're all done. Okay. And when do you go back to work? Tomorrow. All right, so you want to get that today. Okay. And you'll notice a difference immediately. Okay. Have you tried anything yourselves no. for this? Sometimes folks will put cotton ball between the toes or put on a Band-Aid or something like that. Okay. And that may work for a while. What I typically recommend for this, that folks get one of those toe spacers or toe sleeves that are made of the silicon gel. Uh -huh. And the reason why, because you don't have to worry about trying to stick it to your skin. Uh -huh. And you can wash it and reuse it over and over and over again. Okay. And just make it a part of your daily routine. Every time as you're getting dressed, you put it on and then you go about your day. And hopefully what you'll notice over time is that this no longer starts to form this corn, this callus tissue, this thick skin. And when that happens, it reduces that pressure, it reduces that inflammation and the pain goes away. Yes. All right. Very good, Dr. Yes. Scott. Yeah, so you just have the corn on the outside on this right foot. Yeah.